Hi, welcome to Sunny's, the car wash factory. I'm Bob Fox with Car Wash College. Today I want to review how to remove links to adjust the chain tension on your Sunny's over and under conveyor. Before we start, make sure to get a copy of the owner's manual, which you can download at sunnysdirect.com. Review all the safety information related to this procedure. Next, gather the tools and supplies you'll need, which are safety glasses, some type of hand puller, either a come along or ratchet straps, a hammer, and some cutting pliers. Now, let's get started. All right, as always, safety first. We've locked out the motor control center for our power pack, and now we're gonna take links out of the chain. First thing we're gonna do is release the air pressure from the chain. George's taking care of that already. He's slid in the carriage forward. And now he's gonna take his ratchet straps, and he and Vic are gonna get enough slack on the chain where we can break it apart. Note, this is SC78 chain. This is probably the hardest chain that you guys are gonna service. Um, so that's why we chose to use this chain in this video. Taking out log chain and that CX458 chain is a much easier task. Um, but if you guys can change, take out links on SC78 chain, the other two will be a breeze. So what are you guys doing right now? Right now we're compressing the chain, Bob. All right. So as you can see, they're using the ratchet straps to get more slack on the chain so they can remove the links. SC78 chain has master link in it, which is pin and cotter style chain. So the first thing you need to do is identify where the master links are and then bring them to a place where you can service the chain. They've identified the master link. They're pulling out the pins. There it goes. So now what they're gonna do is remove two links from the chain. Well, the chain stretch is depending on the number of cars you're gonna do. The, the, in the very beginning when you have new chains, gonna stretch quite a bit. So what we're really looking for is to keep an eye on the carriage in the back. As the, car as the chain stretches, the carriage is gonna work its way back towards the, the wall of the conveyor. Once you get to be about a half inch away from that back lock and set collar, it's about time to take links out of the chain again. When we're working with log chain, log chain comes in standard 11 link sections. What we do is have pre-cut nine link sections and seven link sections. So when you're working with log chain, you'll take out the 11 link section, you'll just put in a nine. There's no cutting, there's no cotter pins like this chain. Log chain is probably the most serviceable chain. The CX458 chain, also known as the dog bone chain, is an, another chain that's fairly easy to work on. And that one, you're always gonna have to remove two sections because of the way the chain's put together. This one you can remove one. We generally like to remove two at a time to make it worthwhile. So SC78, we can either use with a nut and a bolt or a pin and a cotter. There's two different styles of SC78 these days. Next thing you do is what? We're gonna take the come along off. Make sure we get everything, all the tools out of the, the chain before we start everything back up and add the t air tension back to it. All right, after making sure all your tools are clear, we're gonna add air tension back to the conveyor. As you can see, the carriage works its way back. Then we'll go to our motor control cabinet. We'll take off the lockout tag out for our conveyor power pack, turn the conveyor on and let it run. And there you have it. Keeping up with this and all preventative maintenance at the car wash helps eliminate unscheduled downtime and ensure you're delivering a consistent experience that will make raving fans of your customers. Thanks for watching. For more frequently asked car wash maintenance questions, Visit us at sundaysdirect.com forward slash FAQ. I hope to see you in the Car Wash College classroom real soon. And as always, good luck and good washing.